Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Caitlin and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today I'm sharing the few things that I made in the month of February as well as a little bit of insight into my plans for March. So February, I mean I guess it's just like it's just that much shorter of a month and it just felt like I didn't make much but I did make three things. One I've shared here on YouTube and the other one I have already shared on Instagram so if you follow me everywhere you've seen these a little bit but no worries we're gonna talk about them more so the first thing I made was this um, sweater dress knit rib knit sweater dress and this one I have a lot to say about I did do a video on this to show how to play pattern Tetris in Inkscape how to rotate things, unfold things, all that kind of stuff. So if you are interested in that, you can, I mean, I'll link it below for you. So this started out as the Ellie and Mac Everywhere dress. If you're not familiar, it's actually a color blocked dress pattern. So the bodice top stops about here. It has like a color blocking thing, kind of curves around like this. So I combine that that was an easy fix in Inkscape and then another thing I did was I added the puff sleeve the sleeve is also color block so I had to combine that and then I did the color block or the puff sleeve so I just made the sleeve head a lot taller I think I added three inches in height I would have loved to do a full long sleeve but I just didn't have the fabric and there was like very little fabric left from this which is great so it ended up being like elbow length which I'm not crazy about, but I think it works with this dress. Other than that, yeah, I love the dress. I made a size, I think I projected size medium and large, and I mostly made the medium. I think I might have done the large in the arm side and shoulder, I can't remember. But I do love the fit of this, and it works great for what I need it to. Cozy for around the house. It'd be great with like tights and booties here coming up into spring. So this was a fabric that I did want to get sewn up in February because it is a little bit more cozier, wintry kind of thing, and I wanted to wear it in the month. So if you want to see a tutorial on the puff sleeve, I mean I can do that. It's just like it's really simple. So I don't know that it's like it's just adding height to the sleeve head. That's really all it is. But if you need to see that in Inkscape, just let me know down in the comments and I could do that for sure. And this fabric I got from FabCycle back in like May of last year or something like that. So it was great to finally put it to use. Then another thing I made was this shirt, which is inside out. But this was another fabric that I was hoping to get made up in the month of February and I did. So they were kind of my two priorities. I'm obsessed with this shirt. I want to be wearing this constantly. However, I haven't been because I need to make some adjustments to it. But let's just chat about it first. So this is the Anything But Basic tee from Do It Better Yourself Club. It's a free pattern, actually. I did the scoop neck version, which I love on me. Um, the thing, so I shortened the sleeve by two inches and it's too short. I shouldn't have shortened it probably at all and then I could have just taken off length of the hem if I needed so it's it's too short in the wrist um, so I think to fix that I'm just gonna add a cuff to it which will also kind of bring in the the width of the wrist which I think will be better for me and then it is kind of long like you'll see in the footage it is longer most things I'm wearing with high like high-waisted pants now so I mean I could like crop it to high hip but then I don't know things are just kind of hitting me funny on my hips right now so I mostly tuck things in I also am struggling with pads right now too so I'm not sure if I will shorten the length or not but you can see in the footage how it kind of sits on me and I made the size 14 in this one and quite honestly I wanted a, like a little bit of a looser I didn't want it to be tight I think I measure into the 14 size and I think I did the curvy version but quite honestly I could have went down to a 12 for sure and maybe even a 10 if I wanted it to be a little bit closer fitting. I think a 12 would have still been you know loose enough for my comfort level. And this was a fabric I got on Destashify, it was two yards and it's a cotton spandex knit and it's like really drapey and soft and I really just love this. It's the perfect layering piece or standalone like white tee but it's ivory because I don't wear white. And yeah, 
Love it. And the final thing I made was this crossover peplum. So this was self-drafted and it was part of the Black History Month Pattern Designers Challenge. And I used the Chanel Bali book Freehand Fashion. So this is the book here, Chanel Bali. I think I've mentioned it a few times. Actually, I think I have a video about my bodice block making process. So yeah, that's there. I can link it. I think it's actually my Amazon favorite shop, but that was the book I used. So I just had drafted the simple bodice block before. And then I, so I like adapted that. At first I was gonna do a zip in the back and um, like a higher neckline uh, or like a higher V-neck. And then I cut, but I kind of also wanted it oversized and then I got the idea to do a cross front. And then I was like, well then I don't need a zip in the back cause I can fit it over my head. And then I just totally omitted the seam in the back too. I did a kind of like a fake back, a sway back adjustment where I just like had the back come in a bit um, at the center. Um, and then, yeah, so there's a dart here, which I don't know, on like the tight fitting bodice block, it hits me perfectly, but now that it's looser, like I added width, now it's kind of too long, so that's not perfect. The crossover is okay. I wish I would have overlapped it a little bit more or shortened it a bit. My When we were t t uh, doing the, te the muslins, the testers, it was like seeming kind of tight and I didn't want it to be tight. And I don't know if it's just the way my husband was holding it in the back or what, but I added, I added girth or like width to the front bodice and I wish I wouldn't have in the end. It just didn't, um, didn't need it. I, I like how it fits now, but I could have stat stood to size it, keep it smaller. But whatever, it, it works. I did, to finish off the neckline, I did this vintage hem tape. So pretty happy with that. I did stitch down the crossover part here because it was, it's quite, like I said, quite loose on me. So, I mean, it just like gapes open and I might actually have to do something else to keep it from, like when I wear it, it's still kind of revealing in some, positions and then for the skirt I just took the circumference of the bodice and then I was originally gonna do two times for the gathers but then I don't know I thought that would be a little bit too full so then I did one and a half times and I think it's perfect the back of this is my favorite like when I'm wearing it I love the back how the back lays on me and sits on me the front I think leaves a bit to be desired I think it's just that it's a bit too oversized in the front and I don't know it's something like it's not uh, maybe it's just the crossover being too loose and like gaping um yeah I don't know I just really like the back so that was the bodice and then I drafted a sleeve pattern also from Chanel Chanel Bali's book and I can't say that I love the way that that goes I mean, it was a good starting point, but it doesn't really give you direction for like the sleeve head and stuff and how to fit that into the bodice, like to make it, make them work. So that took quite a few drafts and I don't think it's perfect. I think I have some fit issues in there, whether it's more of the bodice or more of the sleeve problem, I'm not sure. And then I made it a full sleeve, so I made it quite wide, so I didn't really have to worry about, you know, fitting my bicep or anything like that. And then at the wrist, I wanted it to be, I like my wrists to be, you know, fairly, fairly close fitting. So I added elastic and it's not stitched in yet. It's just, it's, well, the elastic is surged on, but I haven't flipped it under to sew it because I did that once and then I had to stitch with it. So I haven't gone back and actually, my daughter has a friend over, so they're playing Hungry Hungry Hippos. But I need to stitch that down. I might have to hand sew it. I don't know. It's okay the way it is. I just fold it under and wear it like that. So it's okay. It is, I think it is wearable the way it is. This fabric is also from Dashify and it's a sand washed rayon. And I can't remember how much I had of it. Probably like two meters. Maybe, yeah, probably about two meters. I have a little bit left over. My daughter, as I was cutting this, she was like, can you make me a shirt if there's enough left over? And I didn't think there would be, but I think there is enough to probably make her like a little tank top, which I think would be adorable for summer for her. Cause this is like, well, it's just such a cute color and it's so flowy, breezy, 
lightweight that it would be good for that so yeah so that's the last thing I made in February and then I was hoping to get to my alterations pile but it just didn't happen so my plan is to do that in March for sure and I have quite a few things I think I might have actually mentioned this in February but I have it's grown so I have these jeans I think these are my husband's pretty sure these were my husband's that we didn't get them out of well we probably got them at the thrift store eventually or like before but I think these came out of his drawer and we can't really remember but they fit me great I just need to hem them they're several inches too long so those are near the top of the list because they fit me great and I'd love to wear them that might even happen today <laughs> so I can wear them to the rink tonight. Then I have this bra. You guys know I need to fix the straps on these. I haven't worn it hardly at all because of that. And also the bra that I'm wearing also needs some strap adjustments. So hopefully that um, solves it enough to like make them wearable. These are some merino wool. Uh, long underwear, I guess. Tights kind of thing that I got from Mountain Equipment Warehouse and they just need to be smaller. They, I got the smallest size, or I got the size, I think the size that I was would have been, was sold out. So then I ordered this one size bigger, they're too big. I went back to try and order the size smaller and they were sold out. So I'm just gonna take these in. It shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> they're just, you know, just like merino wool jersey. And then the elastic waistband, I'll, I don't know, I'll probably just do some butchering in there to uh, get it to work because nobody sees them. And then this skirt you guys have seen just needs a button wherever that went. There, needs a button. These pants I've showed you before that I mended them but this they're just too stiff, the patches, so I gotta fix that. And, um, and then those can go back in my closet. Um, this shirt... I did as a pattern test a while ago and the sleeve just doesn't fit right so I think I'm just going to take the sleeve off and have it as a sleeveless top and I might alter the collar, I'm not sure yet, but I really do like the colors. I think it is maybe a little bit cool for my skin tone but I mean we'll see. I'll take the sleeves off, that's an easy fix, probably do some binding on there and then it'll be done. And then these shorts are Nolan shorts that I made like not even last summer, I think it was the summer before. Might have been last summer, but they are way too big. So I need to um, probably like take them all apart and make them smaller so that I can wear those because I think they'll be cute for summer. And then this is the last thing and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's my black Yanta overalls and I think I'm just not an overalls person. I think it's because of my bust. They just, I just don't feel comfortable in that, especially like when the bib go side to side and I'm constantly fiddling. I'm just not a fan of that. So I thought about like just making them into shorts, but they're also kind of big. And I don't know, I think I might, um, that's the back. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. If I'm gonna just use them as fabric or make shorts. I don't wear a lot of black, so, but I mean to have a pair of black shorts isn't the worst thing either. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing with this, if anything, or if I just pass them on. So that's my alterations pile. And then I plan on doing, you guys saw, I did had a so frugal video. Uh, it was, it's like a challenge that's happening in the month of March. And that's over on Instagram, but I talked about it here on my channel last week. And there was, I, I mentioned like 13 patterns. So I will definitely get to at least one of those to enter the challenge. And the one that I really want to make, I think I'm actually going to use the new seamwork pattern for. So if you're if you're privy to all that, you probably know what I'm talking about. And then I'm not sure which other pattern, free pattern I will use for like to enter the um, the challenge. So that's my plans. I also want to get to. I'm hoping to get to some camp shirts. I have I think two fabrics I really want to make camp shirts out of. Like. That's like the camp style collar. The Seamwork Natalie, I think, would be a perfect pattern for that. So I'm hoping to get to that. That's a lot this month, so we'll see how it goes. This alteration thing is just like weighing on me and I can't, it feels like I can't be creative until that's done. So I think I'm gonna tackle all those first. And I'm kind of feeling in the mood right now, so I better go do that. 
Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you can see future content from me. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye.